Hey there everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Little King Story. In the last episode we took on Ginger's Swarm Quest and we failed miserably so we're here to try it again. This time though I have brought all of my guards, well as many guards as I can hope for, and also I've brought Clan Lal as well, the mighty steel guard knight person who uh, came alive via the uh, purchase of the guard armour, the, the royal guard armour, whatever it's called. Right, let's have a look. Right, if you're not the ones on the left, then oh wait, I think I missed. Ah, oh, right, I think ah, oh, that's I think that I think I've missed a couple. Right, so couple over there to knock all them down in one. Couple over there to knock them down in one. Couple down here to knock that one down. Couple here to knock him down, and then there's one more here. Come on, get him down, get him down. Oh, is that it? Is that it? I think that's it. I think that's game. There we go. I think that's it. Yeah, you've got to knock them all down at the same time. Uh, if you let one live for a while, then they'll resurrect themselves. Kind of like the, um, those Twilight monster thingies in uh, Twilight Princess, the Zelda game. Anyway, thank you so much for catching Swarm for me. There it is. That won a prize. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, right now it'll be now it'll go back into the painting, just like magic. This one is my favourite piece. I don't know why. Okay, is that all you want? Thank you so much. What are you gonna give me? I need money. I need money badly. I have magic land to build. Right, what up? I feel so relieved now that the grand prize piece has been revealed. Great. Now what? Thank you so much. Okay, stop thanking me. So there's a congratulations. So we've officially done the quest. And we will get an art piece and a video video game. No, we can't play the video game. Sorry, guys. But we do get the art piece, and that will count towards... Um, excuse me. Ginger's total. Now, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fall asleep again, because a lot of guys lost quite a bit of health. Oh, what a burp again. God damn it. Right, what are we going to do now? What we are going to do now is we're going to make our way to the next kingdom. Uh, which is the final kingdom of the game. As I showed you not too long ago, we united 87% of the Little Kingdom, Little King Story world. So now, um, we need to take out the last kingdom boss, which is great. Let's just... Uh, eight men? Jesus Christ. Uh, right, nobody else wants anything. Wow, eight? Did I seriously just lose eight men? Whoa, okay. Whatever, it didn't look like I lost eight men. Hmm, strange. Maybe they all had heart attacks that Upstart DJ managed to do something. <laughs> but yes, we're on to the last kingdom of the game. Uh, oh, oh yeah, of course, I'm going to show you this as well. Uh, do you know how we got an Egan for beating uh, King Omelette and we got... Um, a what's its face? I can't remember what it's called. A broadcaster for beating TV dinner. Well, we also have another one uh, of these specialised citizens. And I just scroll down here till I see it. Yes, here we go. A mounty. I'll show you what a mounty does on our way to the next kingdom boss. However, I'm going to take a couple of diggers. I don't know what I need, um, so I'm just going to take everything. A couple of carpenters. I'm probably going to need an archer. Um, I'm probably going to need a. Yeah, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm probably, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to take all these guards. Taking all these guards is probably a very bad idea. I don't need these little guards anyway, so we'll get rid of a couple of them. I'm going to take um, three archers, because 120 arrows should be enough. I'm going to take one lumberjack, because that'll be enough. I'm going to take that. I'm not going to need a chicken uh, killer, so I'm going to be okay there. Uh, there is one more thing I want to check though, just before I go. I know, all these things I want to check, I apologise. Um, right, that should be it. So, Royal Guards, let's just check. I need Clan Lau with me. I need to uh, show off my Steel Knight to the world. But yes, I'll show you what Mounties do on the way to the next kingdom. Uh, we need to go back to uh, Mount Sobermonjaro Jaro for that. I need to check whether I've bought something, because it's been a long time since I've recorded, guys. You won't know that. It'll just be like I'm recording again. Oh, and I've got this as well. Oh, God. Um, fine. All right, right, I'll do that. I was trying to save money, but, <laughs> you know, you can't save money in this world. Oh, hello. School donation number two. We'll do that as well. Seems it is cheap. Right, um, the Giga Grinder. Did I get it? Let's have a look. Minus Town. No, I didn't. Ah, oh, I don't have enough, enough money. 
Oh, that's so annoying. Right, I'm probably going to need Giga Grinders uh, to get to the actual Kingdom boss. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have an explore, see if there's any bridges need building and all that jazz. And um, once I've actually got enough money, I'll come back, I'll get the Giga Grinder if I need the... Well, one of the Giga Carpenters, if I do need a Giga Carpenter or whatever they're called, and then um, we'll get to the boss, I promise. I want to get this last boss set done with. Um, it's, it's, you know, I just want to get it done with. <laughs> this boss is a very cool boss, though. Again, it's another one of my favourites. It's a fighting boss as well. None of these shenanigans where you've got to, um, you know, kill by a playing pinball or anything. Anyway. Uh, oh, let's have a look here. Who's this? It's Long Sauvage! He's climbing away. <laughs> anyway, um, Long Sauvage will climb up the mountain, but what you need to use your mounties for is to dig holes. Now you're probably thinking, well farmers like to dig holes, that's usually what their job is for. However, these holes are pretty um, different, Even, although I can't really find any at the minute. I'm hoping they don't only show in daytime. They may show once you've chased um, Savage up to the top of the mountain, so let's do that and let's hope the holes uh, appear. Because if they don't, then um, not happy. <laughs> let's go across here. I'll leave those guys down there. They won't mind. They won't mind at all. Yeah, there's usually a few holes about. I use a few cracks in the ground, so to speak. Anyway, let's see what Savage wants to say. This music is awesome, by the way. I love the music on this mountain. Anyway, what's up? Tiny King Dan arrived at Sober Monjaro. He found a king up there, upside down and backwards. Okay, good. Can I actually talk to him? Oh, God. Um, it was good and bad back in the day. Smart is great. Okay, good. I'm surprised I, I'm surprised I read that. <laughs> Anyway, um, are there going to be any holes? Yeah, here we go. What you need to do, throw your mounty into these holes and they will bust them open. Uh, the, they've got kind of like steam coming out, like kind of dust steam. And I presume the reason why normal farmers can't dig them up is because uh, this place is actually a volcano of some kind. Um, it might just be a normal mountain, there might be some gas pressure in the mountain. I don't know. I really don't know. It might be a volcano. It's probably not. <laughs> anyway, we got a gold bar. I think mean, there's another one down here as well. No? Okay. They don't really have that much use, really. All you'll really find is a couple of gold bars, maybe. I'm, I'm not too fussed about the mountain myself. They're not the most useful of creatures. I don't know if they can fight well. I, I don't know. Um, no point worrying over it. Come on, guys. Let's get our act together. Anyway, final kingdom of the game, and I've wasted eight minutes doing crap. Oh, there's another one, but I'm not going to... You know what? I am going to dig it up. Screw it. <laughs> it's my LP. Complain in the com comments box if you wish. <laughs> Come on, let's see what's in here. So, he'll examine it. I, I, I'd let others... You know, I could probably let others dig as well. Let's see if they can all dig. Yeah, they can all dig. So, you just need the mounty to uh, make it safe. So, let's get this one dug. It's more gold. I suppose I needed the money. I really needed the money, so, you know, every little helps. <laughs> I'll probably spending it on death benefits eventually. Ah, right, let's see what's in this hole. And then we can finally go to the last kingdom of the game. I know, I know, I promised it. I've wasted eight minutes, nine minutes now. Gosh. I, I, I've not been L recording LPs for a very long time, guys. It's been a couple of weeks, so... I'm trying to get back into the swing of it. <laughs> you won't know because I... Oh, hello. Art piece. No, I don't care for art pieces anymore. I'm done with that. I've got Swarm. <laughs> but yeah, you won't know that I've taken like a couple of weeks off recording because you see um, all these LPs day after day. I just record them and then I, I just upload them at my leisure. But yeah, I, I, I do like six episodes a night. So I, I afford myself quite a lot of breaks. So... You know, it's all good. Uh, I get more gold, which is probably another, I don't know, 300k or something. Something in insignificant, at least. Right, I'm hoping I've got everything I need to make a pretty good go at going to this next kingdom. Uh, those guys will come after, I'm sure. I'm sure they won't stay there trapped forever. 
Now, I kind of alluded to the fact when we were getting one of the art pieces that the next kingdom is actually up here. Uh, there's quite a few cow uh, onis around. Uh, they go down in one cycle pretty much. Yep, there we go. Might as well collect the meat. Seems like we're in need of desperate money. Uh, there's quite a few. I think there's a, there's a frog around here as well. I'm going to hang around the edge just in case it jumps out at me. Although there's not much of an edge, is there? <laughs> uh, right. Oh god, a dragon head. Right, those are pretty nasty, I'm going to admit. So I'm going to sneak past. Hopefully no one will see me. Crap, there's another one there. Oh well. These guys are pretty nasty because uh, they kind of tail whip you. Oh crap. Uh, oh, and they throw guys out of uh, away back home while well, they kill everything, basically. Ugh. Are they paralyzed? Cool, they're paralyzed. Come on. Let's get it. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Dead? Dead. Right, I lost quite a lot of guards there. Not too pleased about that fact. But I still have my two uh, mega guys, so let's get the mega guys going. You'll see some enemies over there as well with pink swords. Uh, they're kind of like the clockwork uh, knight that we took out in that forest. Um, the guy that kind of span around for ages and, you know, we killed him in the end. Um, we're going to just run straight past them. I don't really want to be facing too many enemies. I kind of just want to rush in there and see what's going down. Oh god, I'm going to kill this guy though. Yo, Clan Lao, do some killing. Oh wait, there's no one there. Okay, um, fine. <laughs> he ran away. He ran to my might. <laughs> he was scared of me. <laughs> Finally, we have influence. <sighs> this is probably going to take the remaining three minutes that I have, so I apologise guys for the lack of uh, fun in this episode, however, we are going to get to the Kingdom Boss in this recording session, it's going to be a lot of fun, you'll love it. Um, the music is especially awesome, it's kind of like a mix between, um, think of it as a techno rave crossed with a can-can dance, and you'll get the idea of what the music is like, it's, it's, uh, it's brutal. Yes. Brilliant. You'll love it. <laughs> but anyway, let's get this dug. Let's uh, build even. Uh, yes, I could have done with more carpenters. I don't like taking too many carpenters because even though if you had more carpenters the job would go faster, you can do the job with just one carpenter. Um, it's probably not good for LP purposes just to have two carpenters, but you know, I work with what I, what I, I work with what I uh, have. I think, yeah, the Mountie can help, so bring him along. I'm pretty sure Clan Lao, the uh, the knight of the underworld, or the neverworld, wouldn't be able to help. He'd probably destroy it with his magic powers. Anyway, are you ready, guys? 3, 2, 1, run. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, run away. Oh, yes, run away. Anyway, what have we got going down here? Oh, oh, Poncho's here. What up, cow? Tell me the news. What's going down? Let's have a read. Uh, testimonia! Caterpillar Airplane, Camel Caterpillar Airplane, Beetle, Tapeworm Olympics, Mantis Olympics, Suntan Oil Olympics, Potato Helicopter, Green Pepper Suntan Oil, Jumbo Champloon. That makes total sense, right guys? I don't need to explain that to you. <laughs> yeah, um... The, the boss of the kingdom boss this time is a guy called Jumbo Champloon and he's a bit of a to, for, for loss of a better word he's a bit of a hodgepodge of many things so oh, crap um, yeah and he'll have kind of like a lot of different random things as enemies around his um, kingdom such as uh, this compass uh, this drawing compass which is for drawing circles and Probably other, other geometrical shapes in, you know, geometry. <laughs> I think I used one for drawing a triangle once, getting angles of triangles. But you don't need to, need to know about maths. Um, it's, it's not that kind of game. So, you know, it's all good. Uh, right, where do I need to go now? I don't need to go that way. Um, can I kill these things? I don't quite remember if I can kill these things, so let's have a go. In fact, no, I'm running out of time, so I'm going to have to end it there. We're in a brand new crazy world where, protra uh, not protractors, where compasses are attacking us. But what the hell's going on? And who is the kingdom boss that we have to take on? Find out next time on Let's Play Little King Story. See you later, guys.